Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. Welcome back once again, everybody, to the 1987 Supermod. I am your host, Brad Drake, and this is the World Wrestling Federation. Here we go, everybody. We are recording episode three of four of our Wrestling Spotlight pre-tapings. So, let's go ahead and get straight to the business, everybody. Let's take a look at our card for this evening. We're going to run three dark matches here as usual. We're going to see Angie Minnelli battle Sherry Martell, newcomer Sherry Martell, that is. We're going to see Joe Milano and the Raider against Jerry Allen and Danny Spivey. We are also in our last dark match going to see Mario Mancini battle luscious Johnny V. Moving on to the main show here, everybody. Joe Mirto is going to be in the ring with Tiger Chung Lee. We are going to see Mike Richards, the future Texas hangman himself, Against the Birdman, Coco Beware. We're going to see Rick Hunter and Mitch Snow against the Rougeau brothers. And then our main event, everybody, Nelson Veu is going to battle the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Of course, we're going to see promos by Coco Beware, the Rougeau brothers, and the Macho Man himself. This is a big one, everybody. So make sure that you strap your seatbelts together. Get yourself locked in and comfortable because you're going for the ride. Let's get to booking. Here we go. Dark match. And it is going to be Manelli versus Martell. And Sherry Martell is a baby face at this point, everybody. So here is Angie Manelli, and here is Sherry Martell. We tried to pick up. Some wrestlers, some local wrestlers, but it just didn't happen. There was no female wrestlers available, so we had to use Angie Manelli. As we travel to other different regions, I will attempt to use local wrestlers so our girls don't continue to have to lose. But uh, for now, that's just the way it goes. All right, Milano and the Raider. Did I make sure to click? I did. All right, back to our tag match. All right, we have Joe Milano and the Raider. And they, of course, are facing the team of, I don't remember, <laughs> Jerry Allen and Danny Spivey. So, <laughs> sorry about that. All right, here is Joe Milano. Here is the Raider. And here is Jerry Allen and Danny Spivey. For those of you that have been watching the show for long enough, you know that Jerry Allen and Danny Spivey tagged together for real in the tournament in Toronto, for in the Tunney tournament. And then they did some house matches working as a tag team also. So 
That's why we have them in the match here. And Danny Spivey is going to get the win here for his team. And everybody, we're moving on here to our last dark match. And five minutes it is. And this one is going to be Mario Mancini against Luscious Johnny V. And Johnny V, Johnny, Johnny Valiant, that is, of course, is embroiled in that feud with Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Here is Mario Mancini. He does a real good job at losing for us. <laughs> and here is Johnny V. And Johnny V is going to get the win here, everybody. This one is in the books. All right, now we move along to our main, our main card here, not main event, of course. And we are going to have Joe Mirto in the ring here against Tiger Chung Lee. Here is Joe Mirto. And here is Tiger Chung Lee. And Lee with the win here, everybody, which is rare for him in the WWF. Tiger Chung Lee was a uh, was a good wrestler. He's up there in age at this point. All right, here is Coco Beware. And Coco Beware cuts a promo. And the Birdman, everybody, is cutting that promo on the man he's embroiled in the feud with, and that is Dangerous Danny Davis. So here is Coco Beware, and he is talking to Craig the George. And he is talking about Dangerous Danny Davis. Danny Davis is off screen. The Birdman is based on entertainment, and he will be entertaining because you know Frankie's going to be there with him. All right, Richards against Ware up next here. Three-minute enhancement match. Here is Mike Richards. I can never remember if he is Killer or Strangler, but he's one of them. The future Texas Hangman. I'm actually friends with him on Facebook these days. I asked him if he wanted to be on this show, and he said no. That's all right. We'll let it go. <laughs> Coco Beware gets the win here, everybody. And that's for real. That really did occur. Mike Moran is his real name. All right, here we go. This one's booked. Coco Beware, of course, with the victory. All right, the Rougeau brothers are going to cut a promo next. And it's most likely not going to be good. The Rougeau brothers are not the greatest of speakers. At this point, Shock got better later on. They were actually really good as heels. They weren't bad on the mic at all. They, of course, are based on entertainment. They are talking with Craig DeGeorge. And they are in the feud with the new Dream Team. So they're going to be talking about Dino Bravo here. And they are going to be talking about Greg the Hammer Valentine. They are off screen. And this one is ready. There we go. All right, Rick Hunter and Mitch Snow are going to battle the Rougeau brothers. Three-minute bout, of course. Hunter and Snow versus the Rougeau brothers. Mitch Snow, of course, is a young man. Rick Hunter has been around for a while. A long while. He's 51 years old here. And uh, where's Mitch Snow? Mitch Snow is a young man here. Just 20 years old, and they're in there against the Rougeau brothers. Right, we are going to have Jacques get the win for his team here. And this one's all set. Up next, we have that Macho Man promo. And there it is. So we have Randy Savage. And, of course, the Macho Man is cutting that promo on Jake Roberts. He's talking to Craig the George. Entertainment. Roberts is off screen. And our main event here, everybody, four minutes is going to be Nelson Veyu against Randy Savage. These two probably did meet up at some point. 
I just don't know for certain. And here is Veyu, who is very young here. I could have his age wrong. Or the crea original creator could have his name wrong. Age wrong. And here is Randy Savage getting the win. And you know it's most likely going to come by that elbow drop. So here we go. We are at 35 minutes. We're ready to rock and roll. And Hoochie Koo. Let's see how we do. Sherry Martell gets the win with that big splash over Angie Manelli. 65 for Sherry Martell. 33 for Manelli. Martell's the real deal. And we are, of course, in the region where she is popular. So that makes sense that she got such a high score. And here we go. Danny Spivey gets the win for his team with that Bulldog Spivey with a 61 here. Allen with a 40, 26, and a 31 for their opponents. 38 overall, everybody. What do you expect? All right, Mancini versus Johnny V. And Johnny V gets the win with that elbow, excuse me, elbow drop pin. And Johnny V, surprisingly, is not showing his age here. But we got that one fixed in version 10.1. All right, the opener here. Mirto versus Lee. Lee gets the win with that Kiwi roll. 48 for Tiger Chung Lee. 23 for Joe Mirto. And a 23 overall. And, of course, there's penalties for holding back and all that good stuff. But Lee is not showing his age, which is a good sign. Coco Beware gets a 55 promo here. We'll take it. There's a feud with Dangerous Danny Davis. Gains some heat. That's good. And Mike Richards against Coco Beware. Ware gets the win with that Bird Buster 67 and a 41. Gives us a 63 overall. Of course, we got some experience issues and holding back issues. All right, up next, the Rougeau brothers. Pretty lousy promo here, only a 53. But it's exactly what we expected. It's a B show. It's all right. Unfortunately, the storyline loses some heat. But what are you going to do? They'll make it up there on the house shows. All right, the Rougeos get a 74 and a 70 against the 41 and 39 of Mitch Snow, 56 overall. Is Rick Hunter showing his age? He is, yes. All right, good deal. And it showed that Pat Patterson was the road agent there with the Rougeos. You think some French was spoken? Bet you it was. Boom, there we go, Macho Man with a 100 promo. Yeah. Green all over the place. Green equals money. Big promo here on Wrestling Spotlight. Excellent stuff. Let's check out our main event here. 85 and a 33. Nets us a 70 overall. The Macho Man gets the win here with that flying elbow drop, everybody. This one is in the books. All right, 82 overall. Outstanding score. Outstanding score for a B show. Good stuff. This is going to bring us back, setting us up for the fourth show that we will record at a later date. So, everybody, for those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop us a message below. Let us know how you found the channel. Check us out on social media, everybody. Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987supermod. We're also on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW2020Friends. Don't forget, we're also on Discord under 1987supermod. Check out Wrestling Fans International Association, everybody. And you can find it on the WFIA.org. Last but not least, Check us out on Patreon. It's only $5, everybody. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. That $5 will get you access to version 10.1 of the Supermod. All of our shows early and YouTube ad-free. Not to mention all of our spreadsheets and so much more, everybody. It's just $5. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time.